Hello there, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today we are going to make this card, uh, but we're going to make it in uh, Dapper Denim rather than the Tranquil Tide that I've done it in here. Uh, we're going to use these super cool medallion thinlets. Uh, we've got a tiny little piece of one of the vinyl stickers. We've got one of the vinyl stickers in here and some of the designer series paper. If you purchase the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle from me, I will gift you with a tutorial to create 25 projects. All the projects use just the supplies that are in the bundle. So you don't need to have a lot of extra supplies. You will need adhesive, scissors, big shot machine, of course, and possibly, you know, some circle punches or these circle framelits. And that's all you're going to need extra. So um, for everyone who purchases that from me in May, I will gift you with that tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using the Eastern Palace Bundle. This is an item that you can purchase uh, in the month of May. It's an early release for our new catalog and it includes the Eastern Beauty stamp set, the dies, um, some other things. I'll kind of flash a picture up here on the screen so you can sort of see everything that it comes with. I do have a standalone video showing you how to use these dies. I will link that right up here. Uh, these dies can do a lot of very cool things. So uh, be sure to check that out. Make the most use of your set of framelits. Moving on to the card we're making today. We're going to be using a piece of our brand new, very vanilla, thick cardstock. I am so excited about this. We've had the Thick Whisper White for a while, and I tell you, for card bases, you cannot beat this thick cardstock. I also have a piece of Dapper Denim. This is one of the colors of cardstock that does come in the bundle. This measures three and three quarters by five inches. I have a piece of one of the patterns of designer series paper that come in this kit. This is the Dapper Denim with the gold foil accents. Just a really, really cool paper. And we've got some scraps of vanilla, and we're also going to be using some of the Eastern Gold vinyl stickers. You get two sheets of each uh, design, so you get two of these. Oh, you probably can't see those. How about if we do this? Two sheets of this design and two sheets of this design. In the card today, we're going to be using, I believe, this medallion here and then uh, a little piece of one of these border strips here. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is bring in my Big Shot machine so we can die cut this piece right here. All right, I've got my platform, I've got my precision base plate, got my cardstock on there. I'm going to bring in my dies. We're going to be using this die right here for the project today. And I'm going to place that uh, near the bottom somewhere. Uh, with a little space from the edge. I'm actually going to place my paper on there just to see if I want to move that down just a little bit. And I think that I do. Okay. Put my cutting pad on top of that. And then we will run that through the machine. I'm going to bring in my die brush and my foam mat here, and I'm going to roll it over to get some of these pieces out. And you do want to be careful. This is a delicate die. The pieces of cardstock that it leaves, um, a few of them can be pretty delicate, so you just want to be careful. Get the die off there. I like to bring in a piercing tool because you can see right up here, those pieces are just barely hanging on uh, with anything, so they can tear fairly easily if you're not careful with that. Uh, bristly brush. So these pieces, it's not that they didn't uh, cut because you could tell they came out super easily. Um, they just get hung up in there. So I like to use my piercing tool to get rid of them. All right, let's clean up this mess. Put my die back on my magnetic sheet. I do this so I can keep track of my dies because I have lost dies before. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to add that strip of paper. Got some liquid glue. I'm just going to add some to the sides and along the bottom edge. And then I'm just going to kind of come around uh, the die cut area here. That might be a little too high. Get that lined up at the edge of the cardstock. And I'm an older person with bad eyes, so we're just going to kind of turn that over and make sure we've got it at the edge where we want it. Okay, I've also got some of our gold natural trim ribbon, 
and I'm going to add a little strip of that across the card. And I'm going to add some adhesive to the back. We'll just add some snail right here where the ribbon's going to come around and stick. So I'm just kind of barely covering that piece of designer series paper. In fact, I'm just going to turn it kind of to the side. Can you kind of see what I'm doing here? I'm lining up the edge of the designer series paper with that uh, little gold stripe that goes down the middle of the ribbon. I'll just press that to the back. Bring this over here. Do the same thing. I'll line up the designer series paper with the edge of the gold accent that runs down the middle of the ribbon and press that to the back. I can kind of see that through the front, so I'm just going to snip off those little bits right there. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now we're going to take one of these medallion stickers. I've got a scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock here. I'm just going to peel the sticker off gently. I don't want it to tear. And I'll be careful with these stickers because they're not, you can't take them off. So once they stick to paper, they will tear the paper. So be sure that it goes where you want it to go when you stick it on. All right, so now we're going to use the Big Shot to die cut that. Again, bringing in our framelit set, this die here will just go right around there and die cut that right out of the paper for us. Big Shot again. Get that lined up. Add that clear cutting pad and run that through. And so now we have our fabulous medallion on our piece of vanilla cardstock. Okay, let's put that sticker on a piece of dapper denim going to use a piercing tool to kind of lift that off. Get that stuck down there. One thing about these stickers is they do stick right away and they're not forgiving, so make sure you have it where you want it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the Big Shot machine. I'm going to lay this die on top of it, this die on top of it, and I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to bring it back and show you how it looks. So hang on. Okay, so I've die cut it, so we'll take the dies off. Oh. Take that one out and then we'll just kind of pop this one out. So here's the medallion sticker. Look at this. Because of the way that die works, it is going to perfectly cut out these little flower petals. And then you can just pop them up and you can add this to your project. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm just going to add a dimensional on that piece, set that aside. Now I do want to do a little bit of stamping along the top border of this. Zoom in just a little bit here for you. And I'm going to use this little stamp here in the set. This one right here, whoops, this one right here is the one I'm going to use. It can kind of be a border stamp and so we're going to do that with our Dapper Denim ink. Okay, so I'm just going to ink that up and I'm going to start in the center. I'm just going to stamp this all the way across. So there's what we have at the top of the card. Zoom back out. We're getting close to being done here. We're going to bring our medallion back in. Peel the backing off the dimensional. Add that to the center of the card here. Whoops, get off there. Okay, so that is going to go on that. But before we do that, I have a little half inch strip of very vanilla cardstock. And I'm going to bring in the hello greeting from the set. Ink that up. And then at the end of this edge of this little strip, I want to add a piece of this border. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. This little border sticker. You get a bunch of these little border pieces, and I've already used some of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip off, figure out how much I need, and 
then I'm just going to snip that off. And that's more than I need, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. All right. So again, the stickers are permanent right away when you put them down. So make sure you put them where you want them the first time. Okay. And then I can just snip off this excess sticker here. And I'm also going to snip off this end, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to cut off some of this because it's a little bit too long. And I'm just going to take my pair of scissors. Those scissors were a little bent. Dropping them on the floor point first. Oops. All right, so you just go in the middle and then you just come in from both sides and get that done. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to this little banner. And I'm just going to put it right on the edge, right up here at the top. About like so. Is that straight? Good Lord, I'm telling you. I think it is. And I'm just going to add this to whoops, the front of the card with some more dimensionals. We'll stick one in the middle, and then we'll stick one in each corner. Like that. Peel off the backings. Ugh. The trials of not having any nails, I'm telling you. Okay, our very vanilla card base. Again, with these eyeballs, trying to line this up. Okay, hopefully you liked this video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So here are the two that um, we've done. This one, again, is the Tranquil Tide. This one is the Dapper Denim. And um, you can subscribe to my channel right here. There's a little button. Uh, please do that. And then uh, there's a little notification bell down here that you'll be notified when I upload a new video if you click on that. Please, if you need any supplies, I would love to be your demonstrator. Shoppingwithbarb.com, you can order your Premier uh, Eastern Palace Premier Bundle. Um, and when you do that, you will get that free tutorial that I talked about earlier. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.